hello and welcome back to my channel this is Nora and today I'll be showing you one of my favorite unboxing that I love on this channel which is the once upon a book club and this is for January finally um, yes they're a little behind but finally the at least on track of getting closer to the correct shipment times and this one is for January if you like to see what the book is about and what the gifts are keep on watching let's start so once I put a book club oh um, I love the subscription box so much um, I love reading and it put me back on a track to read more because I just love it so let me pull everything out we have one two yucky stuff here three and four gifts i'm gonna pull out the kit um definitely we have a signature this month also and we get the bookmark it has a quote from the book and the note from the author and a bag a quote from the book and so this is the uh, kit it shows you the author, the gift pages, questions if you like joining the book club. They have it on Facebook and on Instagram. And we got a, it's a recipe, but for candid violets. <laughs> um, I'm interested about this, um, we'll see. So this is the book. That's what it looks like. Uh, this is Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. It's like so, not velvety, but like the texture of this is like rough, like different, like wonders. You feel like some wonders are coming out from this book. <laughs> um, okay, so let me tell you about this book let's see an addictive novel about power fame and love that is threatened by a terrible secret i love these ones that are like so suspense and action and you know you don't get bored you're not just like reading words over and over and over again you're just like reading an interesting very interesting novel so step up step up in 19 oh sorry in 1860s england circus mania is sweeping the nation crowds jostle for a glimpse of lion tamers the dazzling trips artists and most thrilling of all the so-called human wonders when jasper jupiter's circus of wonders pitches its tent in a poor coastal town the life of one young girl changes forever. Sold to the ringmaster as the Leobird girl because of the birthmark that cover her body. Nell is utterly devastated, but as she grows close to the other performers, she finds herself enchanted by the astonishing freedom of the circus and by her own role as the queen of the moon and stars. Nell's fortune uh, very quickly begins to glitter and with it a chance for Jasper to realize his dreams of world renewn. But what happens when her fame eclipses his? When even Jasper's loyal brother Toby becomes captivated by Neil? No longer the quiet flower picker, Neil knows her own place in the world and she will fight for it. A gorgeously wrote exploration of celebrity, power, and belonging. This is a historical novel unlike any other with unforgettable heroine at its heart. Okay, so very suspense. It didn't really give us a lot of information. Uh, Circus of Wonders. Um, so, but it looks like it's very interesting. 
uh, very secretive um, and it's gonna keep you reading more and more and more and more so as far as what I just read I think yes I'll be really interested in reading this novel now we have four gifts so the page 158 181 264 and 86 now the first one I see is going to be the 86 so open your gift right here page 86 it says Toby begs her image to a washing line in a gap between a hunchbacked woman and a snake charmer. I do not have any um, ideas. I don't know. But this is the gift. And I really love, love, love how they put everything in its own package. You could use this in anything else. And you can, like, if you wrap it and, like, you know, put some stickers or whatever, you can use this as another gift box that you can put a gift in it. And send it to someone of your friends or your family so i love that okay let's see what's in here so there is a picture oh my this is so cute i've always wanted something like this this is like the clippers i hope you can see because it's white that you just hang pictures like it shows here so you just like hang it like this and it lights up very pretty i hope you can see it i know it's white when um and you put batteries here and you turn it on and you put pictures and whatever and you can hang it anywhere and i wanted one to put it in the backdrop here so i love this this is cute I really wanted one of these. So next page would be 158. Okay. 158. Right here. So it says, before she can change her mind, she reaches into her pillow case and rips the seams. Okay. Pillowcase. We got a pillowcase before. It was kind of decorative. So I'm guessing yes, it is. And look, it has like a circus kind of style. Very cute. This is a very nice pouch. You can put a, a lot of things in here. Let's see. Yeah, it is a pillowcase. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. What was that? Oh my. Okay. I think you guys can see what this is. This was inside the pillowcase. And I just love the style. It's like so romantic very nice and it opens from the back so you can put the pillow inside here it's a bigger pillow um i just love it i just wonder what these things are for they have like key hands and like um a face on them i don't know it definitely has a meaning I'm really interested in reading this circus. Okay, next page, next gift is 181. Right here. So it says, He unwrapped it carefully. Toby leaned closer. It was a gold signet ring, likely pinched from the pocket of a dead rusky. She had carved new in initials EWD. Don't tell me that this is a gold ring. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> it does have the initials on it. EWD. It is a ring. It is. Oh, how pretty. 
Okay, I'm not gonna push it all the way in. But this is what the ring looks like. I hope you guys can see the initials EWD. Um, and it looks like it's a gold ring. It's very nice accessories. It's definitely not gold. But this is so pretty to get a gift like this. Nice. Okay, last gift is $264. Right here. So it says Pearl's breath is quiet. Her mouse sleeping in its cage. A mouse, a cage. I don't have any guesses. <laughs> what would this be? Oh my god, it's another book. It's another book. We got two books this month. Oh my, that is so awesome. Love it. So this is Grimm's Fairy Tales by Arthur Ruckman. What? <laughs> um, I saw online that they used to put like little novels in with the novel. Um, so this is really pretty awesome. And it's exclusive edition for Once Upon a Book Club. And then like, you know, I think they put 80, almost 80 uh, different fairy tales, tales in here. Like the first one says the Frog King or Iron Henry. Um, like one of the fairies is uh, the Virgin Mary's Child, the Wolf and the Seven Kids, the Night Tangle and the Blind Worm. The Stolen Pennies, um, Rapunzel, um, Hansel and Gretel. Uh, looks like a lot of Little House and Little Flea. Um, the Godfather, The Strange Feast, Little Snow White. Okay, it looks like they put a lot of different fairy tales tales to uh, read it. So it's not like a book, a novel. It's just something that is um, fun to read for your kids, if you have kids. And it's really fun to like read tales, fairy tales, and know more about them. Um, I don't think I know any of them. But, like, I want to read this. This is very, very interesting to me. So, yeah, this was everything uh, for the January um, box for Once Upon a Book Club. And this was the book Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil, a novel. It looks huge. <laughs> Okay, so that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you like seeing more unboxing, and leave me a comment and tell me if you would like to see more about this box. Bye, I'll see you later.